Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pigboy25 here, and today I am bringing you my current 2018 plans for potential new credits, and as you may know, this is something I do every new year, and speaking of which, Happy New Year, guys. I really hope that 2018 is another great year for tacking on extras to all your coaster collections. We have a great year in the amusement industry coming up, some quality coasters are opening up across the nation, some of which I'm going to try and get on myself, and just... A lot of good stuff, and I do have several plans for the 2018 season. I, I will say up front, this isn't exactly my biggest year. The 2017 was even bigger than this. That was already a small year in comparison to 2016. Probably because, uh, I mean, there's a couple factors that goes into it. I'll go into them. But, as you should know, it's a, it's a tradition on the channel. I like to share my plans for the new year at the start of the new year. And another updated version will probably be coming sometime in the spring, shortly before school gets out. And long-time viewers well, should, for the, should know the format, but newcomers, uh, parks are listed from most likely or confirmed to least likely or just outright ridiculous with, but with only like a faint chance of actually going to, like merely in the talks or something like that. So as the video progresses, the, chance of hitting, the chances of visiting the park that is listed on the slide is uh, less and less likely. And with that out of the way, let's get a move on. And as you should know, I always tag this in uh, every single time because I kind of feel obligated to. Six Web Great America is confirmed. There's no way I'm not going to be able to go to my home park this year. I have my 2018 gold level passes already purchased and processed. And I just need to get my dining pass over the course of the winter. Which I, ha I do have the adequate funds in order to purchase myself. And I'm definitely be set for all for Great America's 2018 season. And... I might be able to go more times than last year, and possibly with one of my best friends who may be getting his license over the spring since his dad kind of doesn't want to take us all the freaking time. Uh, I also discovered a formula with my mother who works in the general area, so I get a commute. I tag her, her commute, which is pretty early in the morning, so I camp out at McDonald's for a couple hours. I tag her commute along with my need to go to Six Flags, and she picks me up right as she comes off work. I'm there like eight hours and all by myself, so I can do whatever I need to. I can film as well, so I can just put up an off ride while I'm there if my data plan's acting nice. If you don't know, Great America's got bad Wi Fi, so I probably can't upload it in the park. We're moving on, we have Cedar Point. Yes, I've been talking about this ever since last year. Cedar Point is very likely to occur. It's not confirmed. We don't have hard dates, hard times. We know we're going at least once this year because uh, we're lumping it with a couple occasions. I mean, of course. RMC Mean Streak, now that we know the name is Steel Vengeance and we'll be ready to go for 2018, usually like right around opening day, which will be in May. Probably not going to go in May, probably going to go in June or July. Uh, we're trying to lump this with another occurrence. My older cousin, who is graduating high school this May, like at the end of May, beginning of June, um, will be going off to college in the fall of 2018, to engineering college. And his graduation gift will be a trip to Cedar Point. So we're trying to get me, their family, the family of my cousin who's graduating, and my grandparents, uh, all on my mother's side of the family, to go all together to the, to the point, to Cedar Point. And it would result in like extreme hype for all the family, since I and my brother can both ride Steel Vengeance. We've been on everything else in the park. I can get a front row, back row ride on Steel Vengeance, and it, I'll see how it stacks up compared to the rest of the things. I got high hopes for it. My cousin can have a proper send off to college who has not visited Cedar Point since 2013 and his younger brother the of the cousin who's graduating going to college he'll have his first ever trip to Cedar Point he was at Carowinds with us in 2016 and uh he had a uh, quite a nice time at Carowinds he loved Fury and he's ready to tackle Cedar Point he is he feels really bad not going he was scared of roller coasters when we last went with their site with their family. It's been five years since their family has gone. Any any member of them has gone to the point. Moving on, we have Six Flags New England, Canopy Lake, and possibly more. Those possibly mores can include Lake Compounds, Quasi, Storybook Land, and potentially Fun Town Splash Town. But we're gonna stick with Lake Canopy, uh, or sorry, Lake Compounds and uh, Quasi, since those are the two that I'm most likely to go to and most willing to go to. A rerun of a trip in 2016. I will be flying out to Boston yet again to see my second cousin for this time, I believe I'll have five days with him. I think uh, three weekdays and a weekend. So yeah, we're definitely gonna be trying to visit Six Flags New England. We're gonna try and we're gonna see if they have a Bring a Friend for Free event during that. If not, I can use my pass there. Um, 
because I can I can make up the rest of the credits there. I can ride Goliath. I can ride Joker, and I can get rerides on. I can give Superman the ride a second chance. I can give R Wicked Cyclone a spin in the front and back seats and ride it like five thousand more times if the lines are short. They were oh they are okay last time. Uh, just Superman was a terrible wait. Mind Eraser was a walk on. Dark Knight was like five minutes, ten minutes. Canopy Lake is their home park, so we're trying gonna try and go there, get to Yankee Cannonball Untamed and Canopy Corkscrew. And Lake Compton's Quasi can be lumped in the same trip, since they're both within I think they're within a half an hour of each other. And they're in the same general direction. I feel like they're gonna be unwilling to spend more than what is listed above, or even they might not even be willing to pitch for Lake Compounds and uh Quasi, so they can be cut. I've already been looking for flight tickets, and this vacation will, we are trying to aim it to be set in June. This vacation will not be occurring in July or August, it'll be set in June. So it will be a good time, get to go to Six Flags New England, potentially go to Canopy Lake, and potentially more, depending on time, depending on work schedule, depending on his financial situation, all that fun stuff. Moving on, we have Holiday World, Kentucky Kingdom, and possibly more parks within six hours of my house. My, me, my brother, and my dad like to do something we call guy road trips. The males, the males, the boys of our family, go on a road trip somewhere in the Midwest, usually an amusement park, and kill about three days. Last year, this is we went to Kings Island this minute to ride Mystic Timbers, and I took my younger brother to the park for the first time. This year, Holiday World and Kentucky Kingdom are what is most likely to happen. Uh, Holiday World is the higher... Priority. I mean, it's so close to our, it's within six hours of our house, same distance to Cedar Point, maybe a little further. And we've yet to go to it, even though it has Voyage. It has like a world class water park, world class coaster collection of wooden coasters and Thunderbird. It's just going to be a great place to visit. And Kentucky Kingdom is just a little further away. Just got to go a little further south and a little further west to Louisville. And I could potentially visit Kentucky Kingdom as well. We could potentially do even more if finances, scheduling, and other vacations and events have a positive influence. We have adequate finances, we have an open schedule, and we're not draining too much money on other vacations or events. So it kind of falls into both categories there. And if we do both Kentucky Kingdom and Holiday World and we have more time or more money, we can do Mount Olympus, Six Flags St. Louis, Indiana Beach, Adventure Adventureland, uh, maybe Little America, I don't know, the there's some there's some other parks we can definitely lump into that, but these are the two big ones. Uh, I think the third most likely location would be the Dells, so I could try and go to Mount Olympus and what is it Timber Falls with uh, not Hellcat, what is it Avalanche Run, or just Avalanche, uh, whatever it is. But Timber Falls and Mount Olympus can be the third most likely behind these two parks. So I'm just saying Hollywood and Kentucky Kingdom for the most really. And here's where we start going further and further away from reality. This, These are the things that we were talking about last year. In 2017, during the summer and fall, we had many discussions about lumping our, our uh, my mother's business camp conference that she does annually in various locations with more things. We did Saint, so we did the St. Louis in that matter. 2015, we did Six Flags St. Louis. 2016, we did Busch Gardens Tampa and Carowinds in that way. Uh, it was We've done this historically. 2017, it was in Edmonton, so I couldn't do it. Now, this year, it's in San Francisco. Um, and trying to get five airline tickets to San Francisco is already expensive enough, but my mother and my grandfather decided to make the trip three times more costly by also booking flights to Hawaii. And I, personally, at this age, have no interest in going to Hawaii. It's just, they're, they're not going to be budging when it comes to going to Hawaii. And the two other males in my household bailed out of the trip because of Hawaii and the whole finance thing. We took our financial contributions and financial savings out of the San Fran trip and put it into our guys' road trips fund. And I still throw my loose change in that guys' road trip fund. So I really think that this trip is, it's on life support is the best way to say it. My mother occasionally tries to convince me to go with to Hawaii, like go to Pearl Harbor, some of the cultural Land landmarks of Hawaii. They doesn't say that unique island culture, uh, but like I said before, Hawaii is not on my to do list. I don't really have an interest in going to Hawaii. I'm not really a fun in the sun. I'm not really a beach guy. I'm more of a thrill junkie. I like exploring metropolitan areas, 
I'm not a big beach person. I like swimming, but I'm not really much of a beach person. And I don't really like surfing. That, that doesn't interest me. So, yeah. This trip is highly unlikely for me to attend. Because the only way I'd ever go with to Hawaii and San Francisco is if I got these parks somehow. But that in its own. And it's just going to be, at this point, it's going to be my mother and my grandfather. I, it's going to be ridiculously difficult to get to these parks, even if I go. So this is highly unlikely. I've gotten, I'm going to go to this trip, but miracles have happened. Here I can ride uh, ex, ex, outstanding credits like Joker, Medusa, the new RMC Raptor Railblazer opening up at California's Great America, Gold Striker will be a good one, Flight Deck, some good stuff like that. And now moving on to something, the last part that is feasibly possible, so that we've actually talked about in our family, is Dollywood. Um, we're, it's only in discussion, it's only being talked about right now, but the three males in my family, the same people that we do the guys road trips with, we all express interest in going to the Pigeon Forge area. Me and my brother can visit Dollywood, my dad can go hiking in the Smokies. He really likes hiking, and the Smoky Mountains would be a really good place for him to do so. Just hope he doesn't get mauled by a bear. And we can also, we all have expressed interest in going to Goats on the Roof. Alpine coaster, restaurant, gift shop, whatever it is, we're going to Goats on the Roof. I mean, of course, it's only an idea at this point, because finances, if we do Holiday World Kentucky Kingdom as a priority, this will be an extremely hard park to get to within our budget. It's, of course, it's on our bucket list. The Pigeon Forge area, is on, or Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge, is on our bucket list. All of ours, except for my mother's. And this is, a. Uh, this this park is only an idea, it's only in talks, but we all really want to go to this place. Now that Lightning Rod is more or less running consistently because of the removal of the top section of the launch, uh, it's running more or less consistently by this point. 2018 will probably be even better because RMC uh, can fix it up even more, like fix some common bugs and all that. So Lightning Rod would probably, most likely, be, pardon me, be guaranteed. So, now that I have all the parks out of the way, we have my credit totals. Great America will have no new credits. Cedar Point will have one, which is Steel Vengeance. Six Flags New England will have two. Goliath, which I missed the first time around. And Joker, which was added after I went in 2016. Canopy will have three. Yankee Cannonball, Canopy Corkscrew, and Untamed. Lake Compounds will have four. Boulder Dash, Zoomerang, Phobia Fear, and Wildcat. Quasi will have Wooden Warrior. Holiday World is Voyage, Legend, Raven, and Thunderbird. Kentucky Kingdom is Storm Chaser, T3, Lightning Run, and Thunder Run. Discovering Kingdom is 6, California Grand America is 7, Dollywood is 6, 7 if you count Blazing Fury, which I kind of don't. I kind of have to ride it to figure it out. Don't really count Blazing Fury that much. And these are all excluding Kitty Coasters, because technically Cedar Point would be 3, because I have yet to ride the Kitty Coasters there. I haven't been on Woodstock Express or Wilderness Run. Six Lakes New England haven't done Great Chase or Catwoman's Whip. Uh, Canopy, I'm not doing like their Little Dipper or Northern Night or Aquasi or whatever. All that fun stuff, of course. Now, I do have ranges for credit totals. My pessimistic credit total, which would basically be Great America, Great America plus a combination of like Cedar Point Holiday World or, or just a, a combination of Great America New England Canopy. Like, it's anywhere from, like, 0 to 5, maybe 0 to 9 if I was generous. Uh, those, because Cedar Point and either the Boston trips or one of the guys' road trips are the most likely of them all. My reasonable credit total, which is actually kind of disappointing compared to years past, consider I got 27 credits in the past year, in 2017. Uh, con uh, Great America, Cedar Point, Six Flags New England, Canopy, uh, Holiday World, and potentially Kentucky Kingdom. Those will give me 10 to 14 credits. Lake Compound to Quasi is a little bit of a stretch. And my optimistic things, which goes above reasonable, includes Great America, Cedar Point, New England, Canopy, Compounds, Quasi, Holiday World, Kentucky Kingdom for sure, and the potential 19 credits that I get from California's Great America and from San Francisco and Dollywood. But my, that's like extremely optimistic. And of course, there is one extra park that I would like to say got cut from the list because it really is not exciting. But I can still pick up the Super Cyclone credit at Santa's Village in a Zoosman Park in East Dundee, Illinois. Which is actually my home park, but I've never visited it. So I just say Great America is my home park.
So yeah, that really sums up about that. It's going to be a relatively small year, but the the I'm going to be jam packed with quality this year, especially in the Midwest. Considering that I'm going to go to the legend of a park that is Holiday World, going to ride Steel Vengeance of all things, get potentially get some re rides on Wicked Cyclone and Superman the Ride. Uh, go to the underrated Yankee Cannonball Coaster in Canopy. Uh, Holiday World, of course, that will probably be the highlight of the year as well as Steel Vengeance. I got some quality. And there are several coasters in these parks I can upset and make it into my top 10. Particularly Steel Vengeance and Voyage. So, yeah. That about sums it up. So, happy first video of the new year. And I've actually uploaded this one within a week before my last video or after my last video. If you guys have enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscription. It really does help me out, even though I don't really profit off of YouTube. Um, it's just an ego boost. I hope you guys have a great inside or insert unit of time here, and 